Assalamu alaikum. Hello my dear student of class 2. Welcome to all of you in our virtual classroom arranged by Samsulok Khan School and College English version. I am your science teacher Muhammad Dimtia Jahamad. Well today in this class I am going to discuss about the chapter 4 named animals the rest of the part. In our last class we have read up to the page 26 the last portion and we will start from the that page and we will finish today this chapter well i hope you all are ready and you are very eager to know something from the science please open your textbook and try to listen me carefully what i am going to discuss about this chapter here we'll start with the page 26 and our point is wild animals You can see there are some animals picture in this page <clears throat> and the topic says wild animals live in forests and jungles many wild animals eat plants they eat leaves grass roots and green shoots that means among all the wild animals some animals eat the plant they are known as plant eating animals like in this picture you can see an elephant is eating the banana tree and uh, the deer is eating the grass the giraffe is also having some leaves the monkey is having some banana and also another animal is eating the grass let's take a look the page number 27 some wild animals eat other animals they have sharp teeth and can usually move very quickly. They chase and kill other animals for their food. You can see if you, you can see the picture on the right part of this topic that a tiger is trying to eat something, a lion is trying to eat something, a fox is trying to and uh, eat something. All those are the other animals. That means they killed the other animals and they try to eat them as a food that's why they are known as meat eating animals scavengers such as the hyena wild dog and vulture eat dead animals that means the animals those who eat the other dead animals they are all known as the scavengers suppose the hyena the wild dog the vulture you can see in the picture the picture shows that the vultures are eating the dead animals. That's why vulture is also known as the scavengers. In the next point is tame animals. Some animals can be tamed. They are called domestic animals. Some live in our houses as pets. Others are kept on farms. They help us in many ways. These animals give us milk. That means in this picture shows that a cow and goat gives us milk. Many people eat the flesh of these animals. That means in this picture you can see the goat, the sheep, the chicken, the fish, the turkey and the crab. We eat them and we take their flesh as our food. So we have seen that tame animals those who live in our home as a domestic animals we get milk we get flesh and, and if we go to the next page we will see something else in page number 28 it says these animals are birds they give us the eggs that means in this picture you can see a goose a chicken and a duck from goose and chicken we get an eggs and they provide us they are in the category of birds and the next these animals give us silk wool fur and leather if you watch the picture you can see a crocodile where we'll get some leather the silkworm give us the silk the buffalo give us the leather the rabbit give us the leather the sheep give us the fur or wool and the snake give us the leather so 
from that animal we get something important like the silk the wool the fur or the leather next these animals work for us like in this picture the elephant the donkey the camel the horse and the ox we use them in our working procedure that means if you want to do some kind of heavy work we use elephant we use donkey or camel a horse or ox that's why they work for us pets we keep these animals as pets they are our friend and they are useful too dogs guard our houses cats chase away mice from this picture we can see that some animals are at home and we use we uh, keep them as a pet like the cat or the dogs page number 29 it says protecting animals some animals are in great danger of becoming extinct that means they are getting vanishing day by day this means that soon there will be none left we have to protect these animals can you think of ways in which we can save these animals if you see in this picture the tiger the rhinoceros and the panda they all are getting extinct day by day that's why we need to protect them from this uh, extinction well that was the chapter 4 and we have learned about the animals variety of animals let me show you what are the key points that we have learned from these two pages first of all the wild animals lives in forest where some are plant eating and some are meat eating and some are known as scavengers you have seen in the picture that some animals are eating the plants and some are eating the meat of the another animal and some animals are eating the dead body of another animal in point two domestic animals are tamed and we have their milk egg or flesh that means some animals do, those who used as a domestic animal and they are also tamed and we have their milk egg and flesh in point three some animals gives us silk wool fur and leather from the picture we have seen the silkworm the crocodile the goat the sheep the snake we get variety of uh, items from them in point four some animals work for us we have seen them if you want to do some kind of heavy works we used the elephant we use the donkey the horse the ox as a work animal so they are useful for us also in point number five some animals should be protected because they are becoming extinct we have seen in the picture the day by day the tiger uh, the rhinoceros and the panda they are they are becoming extinct day by day because we are not protecting from the natural disaster that's why we should be careful about them and we need to protect them from their extinction so that was all for today i hope you enjoyed that class and you have learned about all kind of animals and their variety and their functions and their usefulness in our life i hope you enjoyed the class and that was all for today but be before one thing you have to remember you must stay at home and stay safe in this pandemic situation and honorable guardians if you have any kind of queries regarding this lecture you are free to contact as below thank you very much